everyone. How's everyone today? Welcome to the Dirt Road Farmer. Well, look what we have today. It, the Honey Bee Airflex 250. Yes. And it's got the wind system on it. That wind system is supposed to help uh, blow the crop back into the header so that you don't lose as much grain as you're harvesting and uh, from everything that I've been told they work pretty good pretty good but anyway we've got five of them here and we've got a big field of canola uh, this isn't 1700 acres uh, it's uh, 1,782, about 0.9, 1,783 acres divided into four. So uh, it's just over uh, 400 acres apiece. So anyway, we are going to jump right in here, get these harvesters programmed in. And uh, see about getting this field harvested. Okay, first thing we need to do is this is field 001. All right, so we're going to take that out of there. The one that's there, we're going to get rid of it, delete that entry because we have new headers. All right, now let's change the mode back. And now the course that we already have in that harvester, we want to clear that course. And we want to go down here and create a new job for him. All right. Now we want a field position. There we go. Generate the course. All right, we've got five harvesters uh, we want them to skip a row everything looks good to me let's try the field work course great we've got that done all right now let's go up here and yeah, we'll have to get out of it first it's not going to give it to us all right now we can get back in it and we want to save that course and we want to save it in folder for field 001. So let's save that course, activate it and we'll call it harvest. Five H. All right. And there it is. Okay, now if we bring up our small HUD, we've got Harvest 5H, start at the first waypoint, his position is going to be left 2. Okay, all right, let's go to number 2. Well, actually, let's just get him running, let the motor warm up. All right, let's go to the second harvester. Now we're at the second harvester. We want to clear the current course that's in him out. Go up here and highlight the course that you want to put in him. Load the course in him. Activate. All right. Get out of it. We have it. Harvest 5H. We want to start the first waypoint. His position is going to be one left. All right. And we'll start the motor on him. All right, let's go over to number three. Clear the course that's in him. Highlight the one we want to put in him. Load that course and activate it. All right, and there we are. We've got it. First waypoint, and he's going to be running center. That's going to be his position, center. All right, let's start him. Let him be warming up. 
All right, let's go to number four. Of course, we got to wait for it to save. All right, we want to clear the current course out of him. Highlight the one we want to put in him. Load that course and activate it. All right, we've got it in there. Harvest 5H, first waypoint. His position is going to be one right. All right, well, we forgot to... Uh, <laughs> I forgot to start him. You start him, let him warm up a little bit. All right, let's go to number five. Clear the current course that's in him out. Highlight the one that you want to put in him. Load it. Activate it. There we have it. First waypoint. And he's going to be two right. So, that's two right, one right, center, one left, and two left. So... All right, we will start him. And let's go over to number one. And let's just tell him to go to work. Now, before we get started, uh, I'd like to let you know, we have a truck down here that's going to haul our grain. He'll be running on auto drive. Uh, we have a mother bin or a buffer cart, whatever you want to call it. We have it down there. Uh, we have a grain cart there that we are going to chase these harvesters with and keep them emptied up. We will dump into the mother bin or mother cart, whatever you want to call it. We will dump into that and that in turn will keep the truck loaded so that he can run back and forth to the silo. So. With that being said, let's just start lo uh, telling these guys to go to work. Now you can hear that blower running on that header. If you listen real close, you can hear it. All right, let's tell this guy to go to work. told them all to go to work so what we'll do is we'll sit here and, and wait to see if they're going to get off to a good start I have every reason to believe that they will but you never know uh, yesterday we ran a course uh, over on the other side of the highway uh, and I don't know what happened, but it set me up on an angled course. And it wasn't a big angle, it was a, just a slight angle. But still, it wasn't any good. That wasn't good at all. Uh, we went on ahead and harvested, and we got it all harvested all right. But uh, still, uh, no, that don't work for me. All right, we've got one and two off and going. By the way, these new headers, uh, from what I'm told, they are supposed to increase your yield. Uh, I personally have not done a test on them to see if that's so, but I have heard that they will increase your yield. How much? Now, I can't tell you that. Uh, if I tried, I would be lying to you, and I don't want to do that ever, knowingly. Uh, I may end up lying to you sometime. <coughs> Excuse me. But believe me, it will not be on purpose. That would defeat the whole reason for me doing these videos. I do these videos to be informative. Uh, that maybe something I do will help you in what you, you do. Uh and you can use it and if not then you know that's up to you 
Um, I, you know, I, I just try to show you how I do things. So, anyway, we've got four of them off and running. It looks great. And I think number five is going to get off and running, so let's jump down out of him. And we'll go over here and get in our grain cart. Now, uh, these are 50 foot headers that I just bought. The reason I didn't buy the 60 foot header is because we have the chop straw mod and the chop straw was not covering the whole swipe or the whole row. And what that meant was that the ro that the parts that the chop straw did not land on, uh, it didn't get fertilized. So that don't work for me. You know, so all across the field, you had little strips in the field that had no fertil that didn't have the first stage of fertilizer on it. Well, no, uh-uh, I can't have that. So I went with the 50-foot header, and this, the harvesters will throw that straw to where you don't have those uh, strips on both sides of, of the harvester. So, yeah, it's just one of my pet peeves that, you know, <laughs> just one of them deals. All right, let's get what he's got, which is not much. But uh, I don't want to be trying to empty him out going past this uh, grain cart up here. So, like I said, it's not going to be a whole lot because he obviously just started. But, uh, yeah. Alright. Alright, we've got what, he, what he's got. And we'll go and empty out the second one so far I like the job that those headers are doing Very good. Very good. All right. Well, looks like we may be getting him emptied out. So we'll go to the next one. And we'll just keep emptying these headers out, or these uh, harvesters out and uh, keep an eye on them and I've got them set to skip a row so they will whenever they get down here to where they're going to turn around they will skip a row and whenever they reach the other side then they'll come back this way and pick up all the rows that they skipped so anyway we're just going to let them do their thing and uh, we'll keep them emptied out, and I'll get back with you in a little bit. All right, well, we're getting right along. And we're collecting a lot of grain, too. Uh, but we're loaded on the grain cart, and we're going to get up here and dump into the uh, buffer cart. And uh, we'll get our truck running. Let's put our pipe out. We'll get our truck running and uh, let him start hauling his canola to the silo.
but everything is going real good so that's a good thing <laughs> all right now while he's filling up there we'll get over here into this truck And let's see, we want him to pick up here, the 001 load. He's taking it to the farm silo, hauling canola. All right, let's just tell him to go. So he'll have to think about it for a minute. But that's all right, he can think about it. grain there. Alright, looks like he's thought about it. He's leaving. <laughs> That's alright. Excellent. He'll go dump the silo and come back and get another load. And he'll haul until he doesn't have anything to haul. Then he'll sit there and wait for more grain. So, yeah. All right. Well, we're going to keep picking these harvesters up and uh, keeping them emptied. And we'll get back with you in a little bit. All right. We've got another load. Looks like our truck is there, so maybe he has hauled all that the grain cart's got. Yeah, doesn't look like he's got enough to for a load, so he won't leave until he does. We just happen to have enough here to give him another load so he can take off. <laughs> oh, yeah. There he goes. Good. All right. Well, everything is going real good. We've almost reached the other side of the field. And once the uh, once we do, I think we're on the ro last row now. Uh, then we'll start working our way back this way. So, yes, everything is just spot on. Couldn't ask for any better. It's working great. So, anyway, we've come a long way, and we've got another field uh, just north of this one that's just as big as this one, and it's canola also, but I'm going to have to check to see what kind of room we have in our silo uh, <laughs> uh, when we started this harvest. We had, uh, I think, almost... Six, six million liters in the silo. So, yeah, this one here is going to put us way over the top. So, <clears throat> or it's going to put us, well, we'll have at least two million liters off of this one. So, anyway, I'll get back with you as soon as we get a little farther. All right. Well, everything is really looking real good. Won't be long. We'll have this field done. Three more rows. This one and two more. Everything is looking great. I wanted to show you these headers, how everything is working inside them headers. Isn't that great? That is great. All right. Well, like I said, we've got this row uh, and two more. Now, I think that last row uh, will probably have one of them, at least one of them making a dry run. And if you've watched my 
previous videos, you'll know what I'm talking about on a dry run. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, that's okay. That's okay. That's their way of uh, compensating for the width of the field. So, now I had to go empty a while ago. So these uh, two rear harvesters, yeah, they didn't, they didn't get completely emptied out. So, that's why this one here got full and stopped because we got a we got a full grain cart and I couldn't get them emptied out I had to go empty into the uh, mother bin so but anyway uh, we'll get them emptied out now. now I don't know about number five back there he's <laughs> uh, we'll get him we will definitely get him. So, I, uh, I wanted to give a big shout out to all my subscribers. You guys are the greatest. I mean the greatest. Uh, all your subscriptions, that, that just does me a world of good. And uh, all the people that watch these videos, Yes, you guys are top notch. Uh, I can't, I can't even tell you how grateful that I am that you've decided to watch my videos and subscribe to my channel. I just, I can't even begin to tell you. But uh, I really do appreciate each and every one of you, uh, and always will. And if there's something that you would like to see me do, don't hesitate to leave me a comment. Go down there and leave me a comment. I try to answer every comment. So, anyway, yeah, we got number five. We got him moving anyway. <laughs> yeah. He was probably wondering about me, you think? <laughs> uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead harvesting here. I'm going to see if I can keep these harvesters empty. It'll be a little bit of a game of catch-up now. Uh, making sure I don't stop any of them. So, anyway, I'll get back with you in a little bit. All right, well, we're just about to get this field done. Uh, like I said, it was a little over 400 acres, and we've not had any problems at all, none whatsoever. So uh, I call that a win-win. <laughs> Whenever you have no problems at all, that's, that's, uh, that's good. So... Anyway, we're going to get up here, get this lead harvester emptied out, get him ready for his trip back down the, uh, the last row, and uh, yeah. But uh, north of us, uh, up there, you can see the field up there, it's just like this one. It's just a little over 400 acres. And it's also got canola in it. Now the two fields in front of us, they're 400 acres a piece, and they've got soybeans in them. So, uh, yes. But, uh, anyway, uh, I'm not sure... <laughs> I'm really not sure how much that uh, yard silo holds because I've never had it full. So it may be that we're going to have to sell some soy or sell some uh, canola. Of course, I guess I can always put it in the other silo too. So that may be what I'll do. 
uh, I'd like to get these fields done. I think they're all going to need lime. And that's going to be a big expense. Uh, liming all these fields. All four of them. So, but anyway, uh, I think we're going to call this a video. I sure appreciate you being here and watching. Uh, if you've liked this content, please go down there and give me a like. I'd sure appreciate it. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe, please do. I'd sure appreciate that. But as for me, the dirt road farmer, I think we're going to call this a day. And as always, thank you for watching.